Most people struggle to survive in hardcore Minecraft, but I'm gonna conquer this island easily. Ah! No. Okay, uh, maybe not so easily, especially since pufferfish are on the bottom of the food chain compared to what else is on this island. Yeah, you know, turns out surviving on these islands will be near impossible. But hey, at least I'll have friends. It should be fine. <laughs> oh! A rescue ship will be coming in exactly one week, but I had to survive first, and this island really, really wanted me dead. And we got the grass blowing in the breeze. We got a uh, skeletons and spiders already spawning. Lovely. Oh, some lightning! It has been 0.5 seconds. How strong are you? Whoa! <laughs> what is body doing? Okay, you know what? We don't question it. With all my friends stuck on their own islands, I was alone. Just me, the mobs, and oh yeah, these guys in the water who would eat me if I left my island. But what could greatly increase my chances of survival? Something I knew for sure was on this island. Buried treasure. Oh yes, wood. Thank goodness. Let me take this. What is this? The chest! Oh, oh god, there's a baby zombie running at me! Grab that! Oh! I'm strong now. If I lose this totem to a baby zombie in the first five seconds of getting it, I'm gonna be upset. That's what you get. That's what you get. Tip, if you can make it to my island, I can help. There's a bridge from the volcano to me. There's a volcano? The rest of the survivors had already been on their islands for a whole day, which meant they were already pretty stacked. And I was definitely not. To catch up, I would do whatever it took. And since this player named Lagunda was offering me free things, I made a boat and prayed the sharks weren't on their lunch break and sailed towards his island. Hey, whoa! Oh, well, please don't hurt me. These waves are crazy. Oh my gosh, island, is this it? Please, please be Laguna's Island. I was a bit wary of his island, but decided to put my trust in him. And oh boy, am I glad I did because he really geared me up. I was now slightly less likely to die. He gave me food, armor, tools, and even some dangerous warnings. The mainland is scary and filled with murder clowns. Did you say murder clowns? Yes, oh. and it's a lot to deal with, so. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go there for okay. a while until you're ready. The nightmare stalkers are genuinely terrifying. Oh, nightmare stalkers. Yeah, no biggie. Uh, they're just an invisible set of eyes that sound like they're massive and dragging around chains. Also, don't mess with the whales. Yeah, there's like a scarred whale by my island. Yeah, but like the whales can two-shot you if you upset them. All right, don't hit whales. Clowns, night stalkers, these are no normal islands. And I'm surprised I even made it over here untouched. I had no idea that later my luck would eventually run out. But for now, all I wanted was more intel. Who's the most stacked right now? You? Ryan. Ryan? Oh, Ryan, by far. What? Yeah, Ryan's in full nether. Everybody's got a little bit at least. You are at a disadvantage being late. I knew I was behind, but I had no idea they were already getting netherite. They must have some crazy OP items, and I wanted them. And after meeting another player named Sneeve, I was starting to realize just how overpowered these items they got from dungeons could be. Oh, oh, there he is. Sneeve. What is what? going on? S Sneak? What is going on with you? What? It's quite hard to control. <laughs> you are glitching out. What did you do? What did you find? What is on your feet? Uh, Those are I magic flip-flops. I have flying fish boots on. And pay close attention to Sneev here, because this would be the last time you see him. Him and Ryan were the island's first victims. Let's just say the wildlife was uh, not very friendly to them. And even if the most stacked player could die, what would that mean for me in iron armor? Especially with the island literally sinking. Did the water rise? Look, well, just yesterday we were here taking his bamboo and now it's all covered in water. Oh my god, are our, are our islands sinking? This is not okay, I have built nothing. The rainstorm had made the water rise and it was now only a matter of time before the water submerged our bases or our entire island. So an emergency meeting between survivors was called. And so me and Laguno took off to find a player named Shadows Island, which was apparently covered in deadly bugs. Bugs that would spawn in hordes on people randomly. Oh, well, we're going towards the mosquitoes. Why don't they come this way? Because that's where everyone else is. That makes no sense. Why are they by the mosquitoes? We should be away from the mosquitoes. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's so fine. wavy. You know, this is towards my islands. Are you telling me that the mosquitoes are, are by my island? They live up by your island. Yeah. It's no, I, I didn't want to live there anyways. You know, I, I didn't build anything yet. Nope. Good call. You're, that island's probably about to be underwater. No. Okay, Kip. That's Kip. What? 
Uh, just tell them horde, okay? Just horde! say that. Horde! <laughs> we're going up this and we're getting in the house. Okay. Not jump the horde. Oh <laughs> my Let god! Go! What was that? We almost got hit by lightning! Oh my god! That was the four horsemen. All right, up here, up the stairs, inside. You ready? Go. I'm into the boat. Run. <laughs> just run. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Run. Run. Hi. Hey, guys. Why is there. Here. Oh, listen, God. Listen here. If we all eat. went, you know how many mobs and hordes would have spawned on all of us? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Robert. Oh. What, what is your face? What? Oh, Ow. sorry. Oh, you take sorry. take my... your helmet off. You want to you check out my my outfit? I fell out. I got an art. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Robert? Sick <laughs> tattoo, <laughs> man. Yeah, nice stick and poke. They're here. Oh! Da 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 just a couple of crazy people cooked up in a cabin. Hey, it won't Jesus suck outside. me. Let's bring that in here. Why? It's just a, let, let one live. Let one live. Why? Oh. All the survivors together again. All trapped in one house, surrounded by blood-sucking mosquitoes and shadows alligators. This would be the moment friendship prevails. Working together towards prosperity and peace and... I need two pieces. Of just Does cold. anybody have two pieces of iron? Yeah. Or, or like go. a smithing table? <gasps> Look at him! Oh. <laughs> Look out, no! no, he's down, he's down, he's down! Help help oh my god! He fell down. The what happened? Oh my oh, oh, god! Oh, what is going on? Get him, get him, get him, get him. You gotta help him. Oh my god, the mosquito! I can't get down there because the mosquitoes. I can't get out, I can't get out. I see him, he's out Kim. there. Is he what there? happened? In the house. Look out, no! Oh, oh, there's one on my, oh. All right, they're all dead, they're all dead. You are so, oh, I have no the urge to just burn your whole house to the ground. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm so confused, I don't like this. So, Kip, come here. I'm weak right now. You just, you give me a bit, man. You give me a bit. Yeah. No. yeah that's what I think of your lava, buddy. <laughs> From now on, we need to work together. We need to build up our houses together. Come be a booty listen, lander. Listen, booty Join bay. the booty lands. No, Join the booty I'm bay. Not, I'm not dealing with spiders. The worst thing I get out here is crocodiles. Join booty bay. Kipley, I have, I have another right for you. I have, I have everything. Booty we bay. Sail to booty bay. Booty bay. Booty bay. A section of the mainland we would all call home and hopefully everyone puts their fights behind them. But this marked the first instance of where my trust issues started growing. And sometimes you push a person too far, make them too paranoid, they uh, snap. Don't blow it, don't blow it. No, no, don't blow it, don't blow it. Kipley, you're crazy. <laughs> But for now, Robert came in clutch and set me up with full netherite. I had gone from the poorest to now equal with these guys. And I even got a staff that summoned two little skeleton boys. I named one sub and the other scribe. And I quickly realized Booty Bay was still very dangerous. Spiders and bugs were everywhere. I even saw that killer clown wandering around. All right, little guys, let's see what you can do, huh? All right, yeah, get him. Stab! Oh, 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 that poisons. Ooh, stab, yeah! All right, yeah, skeleton on skeleton. Yeah, get him, beat him up. Uh! And with it raining so much, the water level was rising again. So I decided to make an awesome water rising proof house. But I wasn't mining those trees only for wood. To get my house as tall as possible, as quickly as possible, I am gonna grow jungle trees on top of each other. Okay, here we go. Put some trees back up. Grow! Beautiful. All right, this tree is way bigger than the first tree. Perfect. I think we stack two more of these trees. It'll be golden. Whoa, that was a bit of lag there. Wait. <laughs> Yo. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice little helm for now. With my house mostly done, I had forgotten about how awful the island was. And well, it quickly reminded me, cause now my tree was surrounded by hordes of monkeys. I was stuck in a tree, my own tree. Why are there monkeys in the water? Why are the monkeys lagging my game? I'm stranded in my, in my tree house. That is, that is lovely. What is, can you chill out? Anyways, I might be stranded. I'm scared. Why are there so many of them? Kim's lowering the monkeys away. Kim! They see you! Help, Kim! All right, this is a rescue mission for Kim. Kim, I'm coming! Stay alive, Kim! Kim, get in the boat, man! You got, you got all the monkeys in the left! Get in the boat! Get in there the are. boat! Oh, Dad. there you are! Get me out of here! Run! Oh, God, Where why are they so from? laggy? I don't know. Why oh. are there so many of them? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, right, Good. get out! Run! Right side! They're so fast. Why are they so fast? I know. I know, man. I know. 
And they like spot you from a million. Can they jump over fences? So uh, we're getting more monkeys. Oh, they cause so much lag. They got so this. much lag! What is this, man? That's awful! Oh my I'm god, my it. frames! Please, get me away! Oh my... I got the horde after me now. What? Well, we will figure out shortly if they can climb over this fence or not. Now stranded at Robert's house, we waited for backup, and sure enough, Robert, Shadow, and Sean all showed up. And apparently, the monkeys would be the least of our concerns. Alright, what dungeon are we hitting? Oh. Oh. Whoa, what happened to you? Shadow, you're behind this. No, I, I was Sus. working on something on the crafting table. It does so much damage. Holy crap. You see that? That bear trap that just took Robert's toes hostage? Yeah, remember that, because that is not the last new trap you'll see. And apparently some problems had been brewing between Sean and Kim for quite some time. Kim's going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasted two golden you. apples. Kim, yeah, drop it. What? What happened? I'm what? gonna kill Kim. What happened? I'm going to kill Kim. Yo! Space Kim? program, bro. That was crazy. Give me a, give me a total. Oh! oh my god, he's gonna. Oh! Are you... No, no, no. Go up, go. Place water, place water, place water up top. Oh. <laughs> Oh, bro, he was gonna die. Bro. He was literally gonna die. I picked up his. And as he said, give it back, and I put it down, and then he. <laughs> he walked on it again, the psycho. Uh, <laughs> Kim, he's gonna kill you, bro. Water. How come land you in the water. Oh. Oh my god, he didn't even land in the water. Kim? <laughs> it's not my fault. I realize, I realize even if I hit the ground there, someone could have just picked me up. Sean is correct. Even after he would die from that fall, he would have 30 seconds to be revived by one of us. But if no one chose to revive him, well, then he really would be gone. Kim, give me my trap back and an idol. I just, did as you, I just did as you told. You said, give me back, and I gave it back. You have killed me once before, Sean. We've got, we've got <laughs> so, so if I die, you can pick me up, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Survival oh, Island insane. space program. All right. It's for it's for science. Okay, so it's right. this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All right, please going up. You guys ready to uh, pick her up if she dies? Oh. You didn't put one up here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> please help me! Please! Help me. <laughs> please help me! That's so funny. <laughs> please help me! Got you, got you. I wanted to try and go even higher, but didn't particularly like the idea of dying. And the island? Well, it really wanted us dead. And somebody had a habit of not warning us when they got the horde signal. Um. Ooh, who's on the roof? Oh, there's things. What? Uh. That oh it wasn't my it God, wasn't Kim. my fault. Shadow, run! I tried. Run, Shadow! Open the door. Oh my God! Run! Door. What am I staring at? Do they what? shoot fire? I think they're almost all dead, aren't they? The bugs were finally dead, but the violence was just getting started. Uh, I can't hear him, but I don't think he can hear us. You want to see him fly up in the air? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this trap right here for him. <gasps> I tried to That's save it. you. I tried That's to it. save That's you. That's it. That's it. I don't care what happens next. After that, those two chased each other around and finally into the forest, and neither of them died, but something definitely went down in there between them. But I took one valuable lesson from this encounter. Any one of these guys would happily use a trap on me and betray me. And when I logged on next, my trust issues only grew. What's with all the spider web? Oh, what happened to my spider. house? It's burnt down! Who's riding a boat over there? I see them in their I netherite armor, floating. I don't know if I had just caught them in the act or if I was being paranoid. All I knew was that my tree house was now destroyed and that timing was way too suspicious. You see, today is the final island day. A rescue ship was on its way and all I had to do was stand out on a pillar in the middle of the ocean. But the catch? Only four spots are available on the rescue ship and there were six of us. And even worse, people were now trying to secure their spots. I mean, Sean was even threatening to spawn a wither on everyone if he didn't get a pillar and robert had tricked him into placing the skulls oh the robert. ping robert <laughs> robert give me it back there goes your plan <laughs> yeah there goes my plan robert how about yeah. your plan goes away too no nope. go, go go do the thing we said we were gonna do robert give me the give me the skulls close back. it up close it up go no. go no oh. 
We might have to go inside anyway. I think I heard a horde. Robert kept telling Kim over and over again, get in the house. Why? Robert had it all planned out. Oh, what? what the? Oh. oh, all the lag. What just happened? Where is he? Kim? <laughs> Robert, what happened to your house, man? Kim, what did you do to my house? Where is where is Kim? Where is he? I'm far behind. I got There's a horde. Get Kim! Get Kim! They're here! They're here! <laughs> Kim, they're here. Get Kim! Oh uh, my goodness! The trap's worse. Who did that? Uh, ten seconds, guys. Kim, come here. Kim, Kim, I Kim. can't, man. Kim, Kim, Kim's dead. What did you guys do to that man? You just murdered him. Kim, Kim did it himself. Why was there a trap in your house? Someone else explain. We don't need to lie to Kipley. That trap was set. How did it go off? <laughs> I don't know. Kim must have set it off himself. But, okay, you, so you two made the trap, right? Did you mean to kill Kim? You were telling no. him to get inside, Robert. Well, I wasn't gonna kill him. That was really bad. That was, that was a horse. contingency plan. We have no, we have no place to hide now. Full thing is sus, man. Oh, there was a creeper in the basement where the TNT was. He dug down and set the creeper off. And just like that, they had killed one of our own. Poor Kim would go down with the island. And in the wreckage of the betrayal, I had started to form a plan. But with one person dead now, one more person needed to die. And I didn't want to fall victim to the apparently booby-trapped island by Sean and Robert. And the new horde mob, the bugs that attacked us, they're called tarantula hawks. And they would be the most annoying, dangerous bug in existence. They made you unable to heal past half health for a time after getting stung. But for now, my paranoia and trust issues were at an all-time high. And so I went full rat mode and dug into the floor to try and hear if they were scheming anything behind my back before the rescue ship gets here. They have no idea I'm under here right now. So we can kill them in here. Nice. I just got a couple. I killed a couple. Come on, do some scheming. Me or Shadow has a has the bell. So without that bell. What do you mean you or it. Shadow? Uh, they have a pack. Either of us have the bell in the ender chest. Yeah. Either of us die, no one's getting off the island. Oh. He can't so, hear us, so let's just kill Kipley. I'm going to throw it out there, Lagundo. I have just a kidding, wither stuff to make a wither, and I will be making a wither if I'm not on a pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, so threat. Insurance. Insurance. <laughs> Insurance. Insurance threats. Same deal. Kill one person, then we don't we don't need any of these crazy threats. After secretly snooping, I went back up and we were all going to go loot a temple together before going out to the pillars. But looking back at it, this would be the final straw of where I realized that I might actually have to go through with my earlier plan. What the heck? Oh, what, what? what the I can't break it! Um uh, Sean? I can't break it! I can't break it! I can't break it! Wait, wait! Everyone back up! I'm gonna use TNT! I'm gonna use TNT! Back up! Back up! Back up! Don't blow it! No, no, don't blow it! Don't blow it! Kipley, you're crazy! He's in there! No, but I just break the sand! What is that? Is that quicksand? Quicksand? Are you okay? I'm staying in the hole! There's quicksand on the island now. We got to the temple, but I realized that if I was going to use that plan, this would be the perfect time to go and set everything up. Plus, I didn't trust that this temple wasn't a trap. It's totally not because I was scared of the giant bugs. Nope. Not at all. The first step of the plan was easy. I mined some anvils left over from Robert's house exploding, and step two comes in once they got back from the temple. And we all went out to sea to check where exactly the pillars were. We're all going in our own boat. No one wants to double up. <laughs> no one did. No one trusts. Oh boy. Flying V. There's the, there's the markers are right there. But it's barely above water. Yeah. Are That's we just like going by dibs? Oh dibs. boy. Oh shadow. <laughs> Untrusted. Just gotta be standing here. That's it. I don't trust I, the fish. I don't, I don't trust the, yeah, whatever's floating around underneath us. <laughs> oh, there. Oh. Ah! Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Yo, what I is that? I saw that coming. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, what was that, man? Yo, okay, okay, chill out, little guy. You don't want this smoke? Stupid, ugly looking fish. Back up, buddy, back up. You don't want this. Oh my god, I actually killed it. It is disgusting. Now the only one left at the pillars, I quickly took screenshots of the cores of each pillar. With the pillars being so close to water level, all the guy's attention was gonna be on the man-eating fish below. None of them would dare to look up, which made anvils the perfect plan. I would build a bridge in the sky right at build limit, and right before rescue arrives, I would rain down anvils. All I needed was for one person to die or to get off the platform. Then I would swoop down, jump into the water and stand on the newly available pillar right as the time runs out. But I quickly realized one flaw. 
The lanterns sitting on top of the pillars, yeah, they would break the falling anvils. So as a precaution, I went to go break all of them. The lanterns can break anvils. Okay, we gotta take them, we gotta take them. No, you stupid bug, get away from me. Oh. <gasps> breathe, 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 breathe. Run, 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 run. No, 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 I'm like in a Jaws movie, get away from me. Bro, oh, no, no. Oh, okay, note to self, always have an extra boat. Oh my gosh. Scary demon fish, break this lantern and break this boat. Nice, okay, we run. With all the lanterns finally broken, the most important part started now, getting to build limit. I had to build up further away from the pillars because I would have no way of breaking the tower and I couldn't let them see that I had built up there. And uh, let's just say this was not as easy as I expected. Okay, there's a shark right there, lovely. Okay, there's a bonefish. You know, how about we just get out of the water? Okay, it's fine. E you know what? Everything is fine. Do not swim up here with me! God, the water is a violent place! Do not. No, 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 no. Oh, you. You are the worst! <sighs> Do something else with your spare time, I beg of you. Oh, I'm gonna have an aneurysm if I have one more freaking mosquito freaking come out of freaking nowhere. I was so tired of bugs at this point, I could bang my head against the wall. But instead of doing that, I kept building up one block at a time, all while messaging Lagundo to make sure they weren't here yet. I even took off all my armor so they couldn't see me with the render glitch, and as if the island was blessing or cursing me, a storm started perfectly concealing me bridging the sky from those down below. Okay, you know, I'm gonna assume if I can't see anything down there, they can't see anything up here. Okay. Oh my God, there's a bug! It's a literal bug. There ain't no way. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Bug, get off my face. Oh, there's no way. Oh. Well, that was scary. I hate bugs. What is going on? Yep, my plan was going up in smoke. Who knew bugs could spawn at build limit? All I knew was that this plan of mine had cost me a totem and my sanity. So I quickly made a shield and then wanted to try one last time to not let everything be in vain. So I climbed the scaffolding once more. Up we go. No, no, no. Stupid mosquitoes, man. Why are you spawning at build limit? Are you insane? Deep breaths. We go back up. We don't abandon the plan. They're coming. Okay, this is not good. Okay, screw this. The sky is too dead. Guy is way too dangerous. I. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run. 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 my best, okay? It's not my fault. It was an episode of Kipley versus every living creature in existence. I was now out of time. The plan was out the window and I was so pumped full of adrenaline. I decided to just be full aggro on everyone. If someone wanted my pillar, they were going to have to fight me for it. I don't care if I was the only one that made it off the island. The only one I would want to save is Lagundo. And he hadn't messaged me that they had arrived at the pillars and I wanted to be the first one there. I should have just done this all along. No. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <sighs> there is something very dangerous in the freaking water right now, and I don't know what that is, but I'm scared. Hey! Hey, Sean! No! 
What? What on earth? Oh, the water is not a safe place, people. It's not. No. Sean. Oh. Oh my God. That thing one shots. Why? I'm sorry, Sean. Shadow. Someone needs to die, man. Don't pick him up. Shadow. I'm sorry, Sean. It has to be this way. Someone has to I die, man. I can save you. Think about this. Can't Listen, man, I, I would come save you. I literally don't think I can pick you up down there. Someone, I will... Laguna! Look out now! Hipley. Oh. Get away! What you doing? No. What you... Hipley, what you do next? We'll change the game. <sighs> Listen, man, I can't even survive. I mean, there's a bug on me, all right? I have no totem. I, don't, I can't save you. Hipley, please. <laughs> Hipley. I, can't, I literally can't Someone jump down. Someone save that. me. I'll I remember this. Because I'm rising from the depth. What? What? I'm not going out that easy. Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Yep, I'm on the ground. This is the best I can do. Look out, no! Five. Four. Oh, my God! Ten. Oh! Nine. Look out, no! I'm no. so excited with you, man! It's okay. Kip, survive. Survive for me. Tell my story. Kip, leave. I have, thir I have 30 seconds. Come Sean, over here. Sean, do you not see me? I. Oh. Robert, Who shot Robert! Me with the arrow? Multiple here. people can survive, Robert, man! Robert, 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 Robert! Robert, please! I have 20 seconds, Robert, down here! I can't get to oh! you. What? There were supposed to be four survivors, but the island, granted via some of my arrows, claimed almost all of us. Only Robert and Shadow Mech had made it onto the rescue ship alive and escaped the island. Go ahead and leave a comment if you had an idea of how I could have survived instead. And if you hate bugs, subscribe!